Hey guys, this is Matt with 4hydroponics.com and today we're going to be giving you a rundown on some of these cloning gels, the solutions, and really just how best to use them. Um, you know, we all know there's a lot of different cloning gels in the market, Clonex, Root Tech, Olivia's, I got the Power Clone by Botanicare, and the uh, Earth Juice Rootstock. These are some of our most popular, but there's even more than this. Um, they're all doing pretty much the same thing, giving you those roots nice and quick, um, using the synthetic root hormone basically to pop out those roots and those clones, hopefully six to you know 12 days. Um, uh, they also, a lot of these guys make a matching solution that can be added to your uh, easy cloners, or your power cloners, any kind of hydro cloner, um, or to plugs. You know, if you're using the peat pucks or the cocoa plugs, any of that stuff can be soaked in these, and they can be you know used to pop those roots even faster, or just to ensure those roots come out because we know those you know it's important. Um, so you know uh, if you're using the Clonex, go ahead and use their solution uh, in their cloner. Um, same thing with Olivia's and Power Clone; they all have their their combos. Um, I would recommend when you're using these hydro cloners. Keep your eye on your water temperature. That's probably the most important part I can think of. Um, you want to keep that water temperature between about 70 on the low end and 85 on the high end. You know, some guys have hotter, warmer rooms. 85, you know, is probably the ceiling there for me. And if you're running those higher temps, make sure you keep your eye out for bacterial growth, funky stuff, root rot, because higher temps will cause it to happen a little quicker. But you could pop some rips a little faster at those temps. Um, lower temps obviously might take a couple extra days, but might be a little bit safer. Um, when you're Using the peat pucks or the coconut plugs, uh, I think the best way to keep your uh, root zone temperature at optimal rooting temps, you know, 75-ish, 72 to 78, um, is going to be either by keeping your ambient room temperature between 70 and 80 at all times, um, or if you're having trouble doing that or you want to just ensure that your root zone is getting that right temperature constantly, I recommend using something like these heat mat and something like this uh, thermostat. We have a digital one, uh, also it comes in analog, analog is my personal choice. Uh, it has a nice probe that actually comes off, you can cinch it in there with your plug itself so that the heat mat runs until that plug gets up to that temperature you're asking it to get to. Uh, it's a great way to ensure you'll get roots and to take some of the guessing game out of it. Um, the last one that I'll talk about is going to be the Azos. This is a natural way to pop roots, really popular amongst the all organic guys and uh, I'd really recommend checking it out. Um, if you are one of those all organic dudes, this is probably the one for you. Um, basically makes one part azos, two part water, and you're gonna use that as your gel. Um, you're not gonna use any of these synthetic hormones. Um, you're gonna dip your clone in that two part azos, I'm sorry, two part water, one part azos, and then you're gonna add that to your cloner, um, and you're gonna use this just like your solution. You're gonna add this right to your easy cloner, or you're gonna soak your plugs in the actual azos mixture. Um, that'll give you that same effect without any of the synthetic Stuff, uh, synthetically made stuff. Um, so I hope this uh, video helped you guys out. Uh, maybe put to bed some of the uh, issues you've been thinking about with temperature for your cloner or what to use to get those roots the quickest. Um, all this stuff's on our website, 4hydroponics.com. I really hope this video helped you out and have a great day.